plaintiff, Michelle Johnson, rented a room in the defendant's home, which was owned by her sister, the co-defendant. Michelle claims while living there, the locks on her door and the electricity in her room were tampered with. And she's suing them today for putting her property on the street. Defendants Melanie Lee and her sister Pia Boswell say while Pia was living with Michelle, Michelle was using drugs. Pia claims she found a crack pipe and three boxes of syringes in Michelle's room. And there were syringes all over the living room floor. They're countersuing for rent and property damages. Start with you. Uh, I found an ad off Craigslist, moved into the residence that Pia Boswell lived at. Her sister Melanie was the owner of it. Turned out to be the biggest mistake of my life. What happened? Um, we got into a small argument in, in November and it led to her just doing really petty things, uh, turning the electricity off on me after breaking the locks off the door to my room. What did you do? So I called the police that night and then um, they came out and uh, we had missing three missing bike frames of my boyfriends were gone. Um, a few other things were broken and taken from the room. You have and, a list of the things taken? Oh, uh, I have a list. Basically, um, the day that I was talking about happened on December 31st when they illegally broke into my residence and threw mm -hmm. everything I own out onto the street. I have um, witness statements, photographs, and a police report from the day. Hopefully, everything I need to prove my case today. Defendants Melanie Lee and her sister Pia Boswell are being sued by Pia's former roommate who they claim had crack pipes and syringes in her bedroom. All right, let me hear from you all. Your Honor, there is no way that you can believe anything that this woman is. Pictures. They're just, yeah, I have pictures. And too. witnesses. This is the kind of things that we found as she went out of the room. And, I mean, I can First, let her. me see your pictures. This is... Let me, this since is we're going in the pictures, let me see your pictures and tell me what they show. There you go. There's a lot. <laughs> All right. And what is this an indication of, ma'am? Um, them breaking... Uh, Melanie didn't live at the, the house. She what am I seeing, ma'am? You are seeing right there. Um, you'll eventually see everything that I own uh, out onto the street. Okay. So these are the things that were thrown Including out. Including food, everything thrown together, things ruined, ripped, okay. shredded <laughs> completely. Okay. <laughs> and this happened in December? Yes. It, well, it happened December 31st. Okay. And you have the police report, you say? Yes, I have a dispatch right here and witness statement. No, the police report is fine. The witness, who is the witness? The neighbor that lived directly across the street from me. Owners of the house are throwing all her belongings out. Okay. And how did the police respond? Uh, the police came out to let us know, inform us that it was a civil okay. complaint and that I had to... That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, let me hear from you all. Your Honor, I'm not sure who she's trying to portray. <laughs> she's... You've cleaned up a very, very mm -hmm. nice thing court. For somebody that's done drugs, and actually there's a statement You guys here are crazy. That my you cannot sister do was this. not even there. You cannot do this to somebody oh. and expect me to actually stand here and accept anything you have to say about okay. me. It's you don't want them to mention anything about drug use? Well, n it's not that. I mean, just anything that they have to say is completely irrelevant to everything okay, that they've that's done. that's not true. You don't know what they're about to say yet. Okay. So you don't know whether it's irrelevant or not. I was asking you, do you want to object to them mentioning drug use by you outside of their premises? Thank you. Inside of your premises, you're yes, allowed sir. to do that. Did she use drugs in your home? Yes, she did, All right. Your Honor. Tell me about that. Um... On February 25th, I found a crack pipe in I didn't her live room. there anymore then. Syringes, Buy it, three boxes of syringes and <laughs> syringes all over the living room floor. I found, wow. um, gosh. All right, got your point there. Yeah. And you denied yeah. that, ma'am? She was, forgot what you were going to say. Ma'am, did you want to say anything about the crack and the syringes? Um, it's completely untrue. Okay, good completely. enough. How did you react and how is that relevant? I called my detective and mm -hmm. I informed him about it, and he said just to dispose of it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So tell me about um, <laughs> tell me about setting her things out. Setting oh, her things out. I have. I was in court that morning. Okay. I have, so um, you didn't do it. You I got an alibi, right? You were in court. <laughs> well, what is your alibi? 
I did not do what she's accused me of. <laughs> All right, and you were in court doing what? Um, we actually tenant? had a restraining order um, against one, an yeah, against one another that morning. What and was the result of that hearing? All of them got denied. Okay, so no one got one. And coincidentally, the morning you all were in court for a restraining order is the same is the same day that her things she alleges were all put out. You say you were in court, yeah. so you know nothing about it. <laughs> you say what? They, they were set out, but not personally by us. Okay. <laughs> so by we're who? not denying. Wow. Who, wow. who did you allow to come and set her things out? <laughs> I, I didn't allow anybody. All right. We got your truck. alibi. We know that. <laughs> uh -huh. So I want to hear now who it was you say you had set her things out. I had somebody come and help take her Okay. Out. Good Nobody. enough. And what makes you believe you could do that? I was actually told by somebody that... Okay. <laughs> you were told by somebody. By another landlord. Another Thank landlord. You. And I, I understand it's for. not right. And, okay. you know, it was wrong of me. I've learned, and I will never do such a thing again. Okay. But I was under financial distress. Um, mm -hmm. I paid all the bills there. Okay. No, you didn't. Well, we'll we get to house. that. I'm glad to know that you're honest. That helps your case today. And let's see what your damages are for the property she set out or they allowed to be uh, set out oh, or had someone yeah, that's set it. out. That she did, I'm sorry. She was in court. She had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Just make sure she didn't know anything about it. I got court papers. I got an alibi. It's the best alibi you can have, Judge. <laughs> if you say I killed somebody, no, no, no. I got an alibi. I was in court. Defendants Melanie Lee and her sister Pia Boswell are being sued by Pia's former roommate who they claim had crack pipes and syringes in her bedroom. Go ahead, ma'am. Tell me about the <laughs> rent and the property damages you all are suing her for. Um, I'm suing for the back rent from November to February. And what was the agreement on rent? Um, How much per month? Then 450. <laughs> All right. I and paid 350. Quiet, ma'am. And how much did she pay toward rent during the course of those months? Um, from November to February, February, nothing. All right. What about the property damage? I'm suing for the damages to the flooring and the carpet. Okay. Brought what occurred? Well, um, you have the damages have, you want to show me? Yes, Can sir, you tell I, me what you believe occurred? I have pictures of the before. All right. And then the Enduring. after. Ma'am, what do you say about the rent and the property damages? Um, first of all, our agreement for rent was $350 a month. Mm -hmm. I have receipts for it, and I paid a $200 security deposit. I didn't pay rent after November 15th. Your Honor, I have text messages right here where she said that she would be out at the end of the month in um, November because we couldn't come to a rent agreement of 400 or 450. She wanted 400, but her boyfriend had moved does in. Does it say 450 on there? Yes, it does. All right, let's see that, please. My rent was never 450, it was always 350. Uh, defendant two, yeah, it would have to be at least 450 for two people. And what date and was And what that? was her response? All right. Okay, no right. worries. Be out at the There's a off. whole huge part of that cut out. <laughs> Pardon me? There's a huge part of that text no. cut out. Right. So, no, that, no, yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so, um, the property damages are on the wall. What happened with the wall? Well, I don't have to ask. I can see what happened. <laughs> the pictures speak for themselves. Ma'am, have you seen those damages before? Give those to her, please. Uh, yes, that's what she did to my door when they broke into my room. I have okay. the same pictures. All right. You all broke into her room, obviously, to throw her things out, and she oh. says that's what happened. So what is this? What is this? What is this you're showing me? Um, that's after uh, they... No, not you, ma'am. Oh, I'm talking about her bedroom floor. floor. Yeah. Pardon me? Part of it. What about the floor? It's ruined everything. Ruined how? There were stains from cigarette buds. It looked like somebody had a party, and that was the result of it. What is that? At the, the white um, and black, is that a pole? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that was where the wall was ripped. It's, uh, it looks. It's the wall. It's the molding. She ripped the molding yes, off. Yes, Your Honor. All right, ma'am, are you aware that the molding was off? 
Uh, no, I've never seen that. And what about the tile? I see some chips in the tile. Um, I wasn't aware. You were at work when it happened? Um, How do you know? I said, no, I wasn't aware is what I said. I oh, OK. <laughs> you <probably weren't. laughs> Did you all submit a list of these damages to her? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you have that list? Because that's what a landlord is to do after the tenant moves, they go through and the tenant usually does a walk through with them, but if evicted, she likely is not going to do that walk through. Therefore, you are to submit it. Do you have the list? We don't have it with us. I'm sorry. But you submitted it to her. Yes. When? Um, right after she moved out. Where? Um, to her mother's address. And you want how much for the damages? The only thing I'm asking for is just a floor to be done. I have already worked on. Show me the things you want to be compensated for, the estimates or something. The $1,800 for the back rent. I know that. We got Where that. The Three damage. Right here. OK, because you want $1,900. Supply and install glue down vinyl in room. That's the tiles in the um, in her bedroom that she was running out. All right. I'll grant you all your property damages and your rent for $3,700. I'll grant you your judgment for your property, $4,622. $922 is left for you. Have a good day, ladies. The allegations about me, that, I mean, there's absolutely no proof of that, so. <laughs> it's just her word against mine, so I could say that she does drugs, too. That's the, the reason why nothing was paid, and that's the reason why the house is in the condition that it's in now. Oh, maybe it's because you guys never paid it. You uh, never paid your bills. I still live she there. still lives there. Where are you, no, homeless you at your mom's? Right, yeah. whatever. Okay. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> You'll get yours. Got a legal question? Go to AskJudgeMathis.com for the answer.